Good morning, students. I said good morning. <laughs> My name is Amir Murad. You can call me Mr. Murad. And I will be your new Algebra 2 teacher. <laughs> Murad? What kind of name is that? <laughs> yeah, what kind of name is that? It's an Arabic name. What's yours? Sean. What kind of name is that? It's... Uh, Perhaps you need to know the answer to your own question before you ask it. It's in fact an Irish name. But since this is a mathematic class, let's move on. Do you guys know that the person that invented algebra was Arabic? His name was Jabber, and it was named after him. Great, now we can blame the Arabs for algebra too. <laughs> <laughs> Open your books, chapter one. Michael, can I have a word with you for a moment? Sure, Bill. Look, I was talking with some of the parents picking their kids up, and they are up in arms about this Mr. Murad. Frankly, I am concerned too. About what, Bill? Look, there are so many qualified, unemployed teachers out there. Why do you have to drag this guy all the way out here from L.A.? Bill, he is American. Now, Bill, I need your support on this one. I didn't want some babysitter this time looking for a paycheck. I wanted a real math teacher. Well, he is really going to stir things up around here. Yeah, well, maybe that's the point. Hey, when it comes to football, we're pretty darn good, aren't we? Three state championships in four years. Yeah, well, when it comes to academics, we ain't so hot. So maybe with Mr. Murad coaching our math team, we can make it to the national finals. Hell, maybe even the International Math Olympiad. What'd you think of that, huh? It's not gonna be easy. <laughs> Progress never is, Bill. I'll see you at the board meeting. Please put the football away, Patrick. What answer do you have? Sorry, dude. Didn't do it. Football practice. My assignments and homework come before those activities of yours. Or should I call your parents? Yeah, good luck with that. So, I heard you have Patrick Jackson in your class. Yeah, that kid's a real handful. You should see his parents. Don't let him get to you. Well, it is what it is. Sopper Cohen, Earth Sciences. And occasionally I coach girls volleyball. Amir Murad, nice to meet you. So, what brings you to our fine little educational establishment? Tough choices. I was an engineer for 14 years. You know, with the economy and stuff. Too true. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. No, no, I meant originally. Oh, I was born in Palestine. You mean Israel? No, you know, Gaza Strip. But that was a long time ago. All right, well, if you need anything, my classroom is right down the hall, room 128. Thank you. These are the smartest students in the school. No one is doing math. You're the new math teacher? Aren't you from Uzbekistan or something? <laughs> we should call him Borat, right Bradley? I never saw it. My name is Amir Murad. Put the phones away, please. Are you a terrorist? Yes. And I'm here to recruit you. And now that I've got your attention, Dad, no, I'm not a terrorist. May I? Okay, I like him. Let's see what we're gonna have to work with. Don't raise your hands, just call it out. Okay, the square root of nine is? Three. How about 16? Four. How about 36? Six. Good. This is a freaking joke. How about 495? 22.2485955. Precisely. 
Let out, please. Your name, email, your favorite math type, and your favorite musical artist. Why do you want that? Because I need to know something about you guys that's not related to math and numbers. All right? It looks big and scary, but really, it's just a sensitive forest creature. Thank you. How is everything going? Are you being treated okay? Lacey, it's very rude for you to be acting that way when your teacher is giving a lesson. My dad says you're a douchebag. <laughs> yeah, everybody has been cordial. Let's go. Good. Glad to hear it. <coughs> Who knows what this is? Bradley, Corey. It's a triangle. <laughs> that is beautiful, Jenna. What else can it be? It's a poof. I saw them talking about it on Mythbusters. That is nice, Tad. But I'd rather you solve your problems on your own, not look it up on the internet or TV. But th th that's what it's there for. You do not learn anything that way. What if the internet disappears one day? Oh my god, I would die. <laughs> you ain't be doing us all a favor. Matthew, you want to contribute? It's the Pythagorean theorem. In any right triangle, the area of the square whose size the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the area of the squares whose size the two legs. Beautiful. And the formula? Listen up, everyone. This is basic algebra. It's not simply to pass a course. This is a big competition. From now on, I'll be showing you ways to do math that you have never seen before. We'll be covering rings, groups, and fields, other than ratios and forums. From now on, I expect you to spend time every night preparing and studying. And maybe, just maybe, we'll make it to the national finals in Washington, D.C. Let's begin. Mr. Murad, it is a pleasure to have you join our congregation. The pleasure is mine. Thank you so much. I really enjoy coming here. I was hoping to ask you a favor. I don't want to impose, but uh, there's going to be a hearing tonight by the City Council Building Commission. They are voting to approve our plans to build a new mosque, inshallah. Inshallah. As a teacher in the community, would you be interested to uh, participate? Of course. Anything. Just let me know. I will do it for you. Inshallah. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Amir, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. It's only take a second. Yeah. Is everything okay? Well, I've been principal here at this school going on eight years now, and I know the parents fairly well. And let's just say they don't have any problem bringing any concern that they might have to my attention. Yeah. How can I help? This shoe? I didn't know it was going to be online. How can I say this diplomatically, Amir? 
there's some of the parents in our community that take this issue real seriously. And when they see one of my teachers trying to build a new mosque in our town, well, let's just say it's not good for our public image. I don't see how. And that was on my private time. I don't want to see you in the media anymore. You have yourself a good day now, you hear? Dude, that math teacher Murad? I know. My sister Mimi's in his math club. Why do they gotta move in on our town? Crazy ass Muslims. You really think he's up to something? Of course. He's posing as a math teacher. Probably knows all the science and chemicals to build bombs. I'm pretty sure the school checked him out. Not every Muslim's a terrorist. Hey, watch it, okay? Don't feed me that liberal horse shit, okay? My brother served three tours in Iraq, and right now he's in Afghanistan. These towelheads are much smarter than we give them credit for. My dad drinks with a couple of other guys at the bar. I... No, I don't want to involve parents. Come on, let's go. Hello? Yes, Imam. Salaam alaikum. Oh, the vote passed? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. When is the construction going to begin? Yes, good, good. Yeah, what can I do? I'll pick it up, of course. I'll do that, inshallah. Yalla, salaam alaikum. It's a warning, raghead. Go back to the rock where you came from! Come on, dude, let's go. How do I look? Excellent. I like this look for you. Any idea who did it? I don't know. I think it was Patrick and some other guy. I alerted the principal that it's probably him. The police have been notified as well. What will happen next? Well, they'll be suspended for sure. Probably expelled. Everything is so political in this country. Just stay calm, Amir. Relax. to defend your beliefs. Miss Cohen, lower your voice, please. What about the math team? They are supposed to go to regional finals. How are they gonna do that without their coach? You know I can't send our math team up to no state level competition in math with a coach that's been arrested. He hasn't been arrested, he's been questioned. Well, look, I've been defending Mr. Murad all semester, but I gotta draw the line somewhere. I'm not going to abandon our math team. I'll figure something out. Mr. Murad? Guys, what are you doing here? I thought I emailed you and I told you I can't be your coach anymore. Miss Cohen drove us. You can be our coach. O official Math Olympiad rule number 14D. Uh, the coach does not have to be uh, uh, a school employee, but any sponsoring adult over the age of 18. Okay, okay. All right, take one of your parents. Look, none of us thought you could do it, especially me, but look, Mr. Moran, we need you. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I can't be there anymore. I don't, I don't think I can do that. I have faith in you. Please go before you're late, all right? Go, you're gonna win this. Go, just go. Good luck. Guys, I told you that. 
Sean, what are you doing here? How did you know where I live? I followed my sister and her friends. I should have stopped them. It was stupid, the whole thing. It was Patrick's idea. I shouldn't have went along with it. I just, I just wanted to say sorry. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Sorry, that's actually incorrect. 5 squared plus 13 squared means A plus B equals 18. Updated score, Red Rock 7, Roosevelt 3. I'm sorry, sir, this is a private competition. I apologize for being late. I'm the coach for the Roosevelt team. Had a little emergency, but I'm here now. Principal Johnson? Yeah, he's okay. All right, let's Thank proceed. You. Competitors, on to the next problem. Please stand up and come to the board. now tied. Nice job, Roosevelt. Now this next question, what's going to happen is you're going to get 90 seconds to answer it. Whoever answers this question correctly will go on to the National Math Olympiad. My stopwatch, I'm going to start, and after 90 seconds, the first person to stand up gets to answer. Here's the question. Counting every possible square of each size, from 1 by 1 to 5 by 5, what is the total number of distinct squares that can be traced out along the lines of the accompanying grid? Good luck, students. Begin. Time. Are you sure? Because an incorrect answer will give Red Rock an automatic win. The answer provided by Roosevelt High School appears. Correct. Roosevelt High School, they go on to the National Math Olympiad in Washington, D.C.